How you going there? So I'm Richard from Off-Road Touring Life. Today I'm going to give you a look, a bit of a closer look at our GU Patrol. So you might have seen it in some of our previous videos on where we go on trips and things like that. But today I'll show you the accessories we have, why we've done certain things, what works for us and perhaps a few things that hasn't worked for us over the almost 12 years of owning the GU Patrol. But it is a 2006 build. We bought it new in May of 2007 so we've almost had it for the 12 years 12 years now um, it's taken us a lot of places all over the country pretty much as you see it now it's been this way for many years we haven't changed too much in it other than obviously maintenance things a few suspension different different suspension setups over that time as well but I'll give you a bit of a look around and show you why we've done what we have now at the front of the patrol here I've got set of light force blitz 240s they're just the halogens they've been on there for about 10 years now got the factory nissan steel winch bar on there this has been really strong and tough bar never had any problems with it it's never moved or budged or anything like that so it's been really fantastic i did have a worn winch in here i did take that out a while ago um, i'm looking actually getting a new winch uh, before this coming snow season so i'm in the market for a winch at the moment just to replace this one it was pretty tight and it was just time for an upgrade on that one. Also on the bull bar, I just have this UHF aerial, which uh, runs or helps with my 40 watt GME uh, UHF, which I'll show you once we have a look inside. But I'll head around to the side now, show you the tyres and suspension that we use on the patrol. So with tyres on the patrol, I've ran everything from the factory tyres till they ran out. They lasted about 17,000 kilometres. I then went ran two sets of MTZs, they were a 265 size tyre. I used them when I was doing a lot more outback touring um, and towing a lot of trailers and things like that for various trailer companies. I've now since, I, then I did run a couple of sets actually as well of Mickey Thompson, the ATZs, the four rib, and the last couple of sets of tyres now are the BFG KM2s in the 285. Just fell on these tyres. The last set I got close to 80,000 out of them. These ones have probably done about 30,000 now and they are wearing really well. As for suspension, like I mentioned, I have gone through a few different sets of suspension. At the moment I'm running Old Man Emu, just a 50mm lift. Um, in the back I used to run airbags in there. I've since changed that out and matched all the suspension up well. The airbags were well and good when towing and things, but I don't need them at the moment. so. No longer running airbags, just got the springs rated to match. I can't remember what the spring rate is at the moment. I just spoke to ARB and they set me up with what I needed. They've been in there for a little while now and they haven't had any problems and they work really well with what we do. Um, for the next set of tyres, I'll probably stick with BFG, but that's a little while off yet. So I'll just give you a quick look inside. So I'm running a VDO EGT gauge there with the Garmin sat nav i've also got just in there somewhere you can see it it's the gme tx 3440 40 watt uhf still running the factory radio um i guess i've added the dash pad other than that the interior is still stock as haven't done anything else to it just to make it comfortable or anything it works for us so why not why change it now up on the roof there, I've got a Tradesman roof rack. They're a company in Bayswater. It's a full length steel roof rack. At the time I was looking at alloy, but the cost at the time I just ended up just sticking with the steel one. I haven't regretted the decision. Maybe weight is a factor when trying to decide on what roof rack, but I've gone the full mesh floor as well. Just find moving around, walking on it, tying things down. I've got everything from kids' bikes to swags to firewood to kayaks and everything else on there. It has been really good. I'll take you around the other side and show my awnings which I have mounted off the side of the roof rack. So just up there above my shoulder you can see the ARB awning. I actually run two ARB awnings. I have one full length one down the side here which is a 2.5 by 2.5 and on the rear I have another ARB awning which I think is 1.2 by 2. Um, out the back so that helps in rain and shade and all that sort of stuff. There is a lot of different awnings on the market I had had ARB in the past this one here I've only just put on just over 12 months ago around 12 months ago the rear one's been on there since 2012 
the first side awning I'd had since 2009. So I got nine years out of that one, so I just decided why not to stick with it and get another ARB awning. So on the back of the Patrol now, I have a Kmart rear bar. The actual model of the bar is Osbar. So that's been on there since 2014. Now when I had the rear bar fitted, I had the choice of carrying two spares or a single spare in the jerry can holder, which comes with this particular rear bar. Now the reason I went for the water cans, the jerry cans and the fuel, because it's so much more use out of that and more versatile, and I don't really need two wheels, two spares anyway. And if, you do, if I do need it, I do carry them on the roof for those bigger outback trips. But I find having the water there is easy, wash up nice and clean, good quality water cans, um, and the diesel one as well, so that's the reason I did go with that. Now the rear bar does have LED lights. Those with the patrol know the reverse light on these is basically useless and it is no good, it's only one of them. So the LED lights in the rear bar really help with those reversing the dark situations. In addition to that, I do have a Kmart work light up here as well, which is perfect for setting up camp. If it gets late or night or you just need to be reversing or backing a trailer or something at night time, you can just pop that on and that also helps with that. The spare wheel rubbish bag on there, that's, you know, no brainer. Everywhere you go camping now, you know, you always have a rubbish bag in there. Okay, so we'll look at the rear setup now. Just while I do remember, the water cans I use are by ProQuip International. So ProQuip is an Australian company, so that's why I use those as well. Now in the back here, I've just slid the fridge out. It's an angle fridge, but one of the ARB badged fridges. It's a 40 litre. I bought this probably, I think it was around 2004 four or five around that sort of time never failed never let us down it's on one of the angle fridge slides as well now this shelf unit in the back is something that my dad designed when he had his GU patrol I borrowed at one time and uh, it stayed in here ever since he's since sold that car so the rear shelf there works really well I don't have the big heavy drawers and things in there trying to keep weight down so the fold-out cam table fits perfectly there when I do have my camping gear in here, the solar panel fits exactly down the side there, so that's nice and safe to carry in there. Doesn't bounce around or anything like that. Now I have a Black Widow drop down um, table here. Obviously pretty self explanatory, works well, makes everything a lot easier. And just made a little uh, tea towel rack there. Underneath, like I mentioned before, just about the drawers, I um, just use these plastic tubs, they're under bed storage ones from Kmart. They're nice and light and one breaks you just replace it quite easily anyway but they don't really move around too much in there. In addition to that I've got the cargo barrier which I got fitted when the vehicle was brand new and the fire extinguisher sits on the other side of the cargo barrier there. Underneath here just perfectly fits my ARB air compressor and also carry tools and things like that underneath there. But other than that, it's pretty simple, and now everything fits in. We have perfect spots for everything, so it works really well. Alright, so one of the things I probably would change or would have done differently on the patrol is this factory Nissan snorkel. I have had water up over the bonnet and everything, and everything's been all good and well, but I think I would have gone with Safari or something if I had my time over again with uh, what I've done with the patrol and in the build process of it. But everything on it, I've pretty much put on it with, within the car was only you know, within 18 months of owning it. Nothing's really changed other than playing around with a little bit of suspension, but some of that was just uh, through trial and error. But nothing else I would have really changed. I don't regret anything about the Patrol. It's uh, been a fantastic vehicle. We've had it all through the Kimberleys, Queensland, Tasmania, oh, the Brinda Bellas, the whole WA coast. We followed all the way around. The railway lines down through into Tom Price and stuff from up near Caratha. Uh, towing trailers, countless trips into the outback, Flinders Ranges, I think three or four times, Cameron's Corner many times, Uden Data Track, all those sort of places. It is super comfortable to drive. I love having a live axle in it. Just cruises along, makes everything nice and easy. When you're in the bush, just the flex and how tough and bulletproof it all is as well. Even the, the I have done a clutch in it. The first one lasted me 332,000 kilometres. I can't really complain about that. That was a uh, just wear and tear so I was pretty happy with that. Still got the same starter motor. I've done one alternator. That's pretty much it. I've had really good run out of the patrol so I was really, am really happy with my choice. 
you know, service it pretty much to the kilometre when it's due. I think that's the key thing. So I'll quickly just pop the bonnet. Just show you what one thing I have added under there, and then I'll wrap it up for you all. So if you do have a turbo diesel patrol, one thing I have added to this is the catch can just there. That's a Proven 200. I found when I fitted that my EGT's actually dropped around 50 degrees on the same hills that I do every day, so it has made everything a lot cleaner. Something else I've added. Something else I've added is the dual battery. So I just got a Piranha dual battery mount kit there and popped that in as well. At the time, um, it just didn't need a little bit of messing around to fit that mount in, but I did get it in there without any problems. Uh, all my inline fuses also run near there, but everything else under this bonnet is standard. I haven't touched anything under it. Like I said, catch can and EGT gauge, and I just drive to the gauge as well, like what the temps are doing. Now, after having the patrol for so long, if anyone was looking for a patrol, what would the key things I'd look at? I'd probably say service history, which is pretty obvious with any car. Ask around, drive more than one of them. They, they all do drive differently, different power, performance, handling, uh, etc. If you can get one with a few accessories, if you are in a second-hand market, because they don't actually build these anymore, just do look around. Low kilometre ones are obviously going to be at an advantage, but definitely service history. I haven't regretted buying this for one moment. Uh, in the bush, it's tough, it's reliable. It's been really, really good. So thanks heaps for... Uh, following us along on our adventures. Now, if there is anything else you want to know about the patrol, I didn't, don't know how long this video is going to be, but I was trying to keep it short, but I'm sure there is something I've missed. Or if there's something else you would like to know, pop it down in the comments down below there. And give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. And if you do see us out and about, make sure that you uh, say g'day, come over for a chat. And you can also follow us on Instagram, and I do have a Facebook page as well with other things that I'll get up to so again thanks heaps for watching and I'll see you all out there another time cheers